probably don't know me, but I'm Sunflower. Not that you would care anyway. But I live just around the edges of Taco and Animate Town. Of course, like most things in this town, they couldn't decide on a name. As for the part where Taco came from, I'm not quite sure. I mean, it's probably some great mystery or maybe some famous person who I don't know the name of. But anyway, I live a pretty good life. I go to high school, and I babysit for the nicest, sweetest, 13-year-old ever- Yo, idiot, you dummy! Do you even listen? That's her! Isn't she not- You deaf! Sorry, um, what? You, you're just a- You're just a stupid, deaf, idiotic piece of trash! I can't believe I'm talking to you! I I'm not even baby, so why do they have you babysit for me? I don't understand! Just die! You ruined my life! <gasps> Why did you die? You took him away from me, didn't you? Ever since you showed up, they hated me! And every single one of them hated me ever since you showed up! It's all your fault, Sunflower! Enough with this gooey stuff. Let's talk more about where in the world are we? Well, wherever we are, it doesn't seem like we actually died. Oh man. I was kind of hoping I had. Deep breaths, Andrew. You didn't die. That car did not hit you. You are okay. Well, now that we know we're all okay, why don't we sing a song? You can't be serious. Who invited this optimist? Everyone, we will not be singing, we will not be mocking people. I'm not calling names Lantern, but we can't just sit around and yell. Someone has to take charge and find out what's going on here. And that person will be me. Any objections? Good. I propose we see what's through that door, because it could be a way out. It could have anything behind it. Come on, don't just stare. Let's go. Open the door for fire's sake. Uh, I thought teleportation would take longer. Nonetheless, I should probably go upstairs. They seem to already be here. I'm just so nervous. Well, don't be. You have complete authority. That's the problem. I haven't had any interaction apart from you and... that. I'm not sure if I'm capable of such interaction. Don't worry, we'll be fine. If you say so. Here I go. Oh, my symphony! This place is bigger than we thought! It's not that impressive. Oscar could do better. Who? Fellows! Hush! I hear something from underneath us. They're more afraid of you than you are of them. Uh, who decided we should go to a mental hospital? Uh, wh 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 what do you mean? Look at that ugly thing. It hasn't seen the light of day in years. Well, neither have I. And look her, how you turned out. Ugly as mud. Guys, will you cut it out? Ever since we've been here, there's been constant bickering. This poor sunflower never even said a word. Quiet! I'm Brush, and I hold the rules around here. I don't want any of you messing around, you hear me? I, I don't understand. I had only just- You died! Everyone, everyone who died at a precise second was teleported here. Now you have to abide by the rules. My rules. R rules? One, no questioning me. Two, no hurting me. Three, do not enter the basement. And four, you are no. Don't do that. Hi, no. Stop. Don't, don't open the windows. Don't go outside. You're stuck here. I'd rather die than see what's outside again. You good? She's fine. I mean, I'm fine. I have tasks for you to complete. 
You shouldn't question it. I brought you back from the dead. I'd expect something in return. I know about you all. Every little thing. I'd expect you, especially, to know how to complete this one. There is a task that's hard to take, a thing that only a chef can make. Food must be delicious, the condiments the same, and all of you must not choose this like some silly game. The berries are yellow, the water is blue, when mixed together, the soup will have a green hue. A soup. That's what it will be. Make a soup that's delicious, all in the kitchen, make the soup for me. Soup for me, all for me. Make it just for me. Make something I like, something I like, something I like to eat. Meanwhile, Imoku, I want food. And I want it immediately. Huh? I know. I learn poetry and language in my spare time. No, 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 it's not that. I just don't understand this... Thing. It's simple. Use the ingredients in the cabinet and make me soup. Y you can't just, just go in the kitchen and make me something. Now. And if we don't? I said now. Now! Use the ingredients in this cabinet to make a soup. I'm sure Andrew knows how. Ah, but I must go. Juice. Was that Spanish? That was German, you idiot. Um, now what? We cook. <sighs> what happened here? Nanya. I get it, I get it. None of my business. But can I at least get a clue? I always go to this place with my boyfriend. Oh, sorry, I'm just out of breath. Uh, can you at least tell me what the caution tape is about, please? No. Oh, come on, Hank. We can at least tell the poor boy. There was a disappearance. Now back off. Uh, well, um... Well, usually when someone disappears, the police tell who it was. You're saying you want to help us. Let him have a try, Hank. Have you done anything like this before, young man? Well, I once tried to help find out a murder a while back. I, I can probably still help. I did find out who did the killing back then, after all. Oh, please, Hank. Fine. What do you got? Well, I'm pretty good at asking witnesses. Do you know where a witness could be? The wine glass. To your right. Tried asking her, but she's a tough cookie. Thanks. Jane, I don't get it. It's just a phase, Hank. Um, hello? What's your name? t t t what did you see? Horror. Um, where were you? Why? I can give you $15 if you tell me. Fine! That was easy. What happened? A man. He looked about 25. He was walking out of the bar. He definitely looked healthy. Not drunk. He was walking... And, and the car came, and I was looking at the car, and the car came fast, and he wasn't looking, and, and, and it came close. Please, almost please slow down. Well, I saw a man walking, and he he looked like he he looked like he wasn't drunk. Uh, the car came by. It, it looked like it hit him, but the car stopped just after, and and when it did, he, the, the man he wasn't there. That's odd. Do you remember what he looked like? I'm not sure. Let the police know if you remember. You're probably still shocked. I'll ask if they can check the security cameras. Okay. Andrew! 
where does this go? We don't need anything else. I've already made it. But we have so much extras! I told... I told Egg to get all the food. I did. Figure none of you would want these things that are not edible. What? Let me see. <clears throat> oh, I think I'm gonna sip. Don't do that! You have to make the soup for us! He already did, you idiot. Ugh, this is so disgusting. Why would Brush even have these? I don't know. Tortured kids, maybe? Dead children is always the answer. Well, I, I think it's more of a question! Um, hey guys? Um, where's Lantern and Toasty again? There. Let me look away from this cabinet. <sighs> well, Toasty's trying to get Sunflower to talk, and Lantern is, well, I asked him to go and find Toasty and Sunflower or whatever. Carol, can you go and find them? They haven't come back yet. Yippee! Yes, I can! I'm as excited to do that as an Anne is to eat a birthday cake on Tuesday! What the actual- Bye! <laughs> Well, at least we have our soup. We need to taste test it. I'll sacrifice my life. I hope that makes you try this! Hmm, tastes like... Cannibalism. Oh, um, I I'm sorry, I forgot to ask if you're uncomfortable with eating egg products. Welp, doesn't matter now. Doesn't matter. Guess I'm a cannibal now. Did I hear cannibal?! Sounds like my kind of party! Don't be so loud, it's hurting Sunflower's ears! Hey guys, so you finally found the lantern? Well, duh! Sorry we wandered off. The noises were too much for Sunflower and he... he... Uh, has this ever happened before? Uh, sorry. The internet is really bad here. Uh, huh. Is there any way we can help it? Just hit the side of my head. Hit the side of our head! I'm great at hitting people! Sure, you've got lots of experience, Shapey. I'll have you know that I'm very skilled at beating the screams out of people. But that does not mean I do it all the time, Yogi! Um, guys, she's... Oh, my burner! She's up! Th that's what I... Sorry, guys. This happens when my internet gets bad. Anyway, as I was saying, Sunflower thought it was too loud, so we left. Then we both sat together in the new room that, uh, that you all have not seen yet. But, uh, uh, so then he talked to me about my eye. He said he knew something about it, but I, uh, can't remember. But I know Lantern found us after that. Um, thanks for sending him over. Really? <laughs> no problem, Toasty. Hooray, I'm the hero! But let's hold a celebration for a second. Where is that annoying tie? Oh, Carol, she just left to find you. And you didn't run into her? Oh, oh no. <gasps> Wimp. Carol, Carol! Andrew! Carol? No, Carol! Hmm. Interesting. I'd give you a thumbs up. A full 10 out of 10. But it seems like you're missing two people. Carol went off and Andrew went to find her. Well, it's fine that she didn't go into the basement. <laughs> Lucky for me, I brought this. What in the world? Disgusting. I can see that musical idiot's brain. It's the size of a peanut. Whoa! <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> Ew. She sounds drunk. Definitely. Why don't we form like an alliance? Ah, like those object shows on the interweb. Exactly. <laughs> You're making an appliance. You, you all right? You can talk to me. Okay, I'm just scared. Oh, because of Brush, Andrew, Carol? A combination 
helpless. I, I don't think the child I was babysitting can handle being alone. Ah, when was the last time you saw them? When she drowned me. Sunflower! Sunflower! How am I going to get their attention? I mean, they're all doing something. How do I get their attention? Just do what you always do. What I always do? Yeah, just yell as always. I guess so. Hey, guys! Yeah, you're right. That worked. I know. I'm always right. And I'm you. So technically, you're always right. Oh, you're making me blush. Loser. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Anyway, I'll have to grade that soup a solid 9 out of 10. Although, you two disobeyed the rules and went in the basement. What did you see? Um, um, uh, oh, uh, I saw boxes. Oh, and a shadow of a tall man. Oh, that's good. Just a shadow. What did you see, Prince Charming? Talking to you, Andrew. When I talk to you, you listen. <laughs> well, I guess I'll do it for today. I'll give you all an 8 out of 10. Good work. Now I almost know I can trust you. You'll get a new test tomorrow. Great, just my luck. And I guess I'll take my leave. But one of you will be earning a punishment, though. I wonder who it's gonna be. But I'll have to consult my assistant first. Uh, sayonara! Thou peasant, who rings to me mine lavender bow, thou hast none of such. Then, then thou must bringest one to true form for me. For thou, mine princess, anything. Wonderful, thou peasant named Will. And while I waitest, thou bringest me mine finest wine. For thou, mine princess, anything. Wonderful. Now, thou mustest hurry off. Oh, such brat. To she, a lesson must be taught. What has took mine servant such a long time? Thou ask for wine? Yes, yes. Now. I shall drink this fine beverage. How does it taste, mine superior? It tastes like... What has happened, my tastest? Oh, goodness, we bound this drink forever ago, thou fiend! <laughs> ah, finally, I shall be freed from thou restraints, and rise to the top with mine inventions. I shall take thou position. I shall rule. <coughs> Sis, this is not fairest. Thou fiend, help me. <coughs> no. And now, I shall stop pleasing you, thou brat. <coughs> Next we might water, I cannot draw a breath. <coughs> Zow, perish. How dare you say that? And you so mean of you, thou fiend, thou peasant, peasant will. 
That's, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh my heart, what has happened? Like poisoned me. What a peasant! Oh, my symphony. Who's that? I think it's a rare species called Nerd. Ooh, sick burn. <laughs> Get it? Because I'm a lantern. Wait, what? Thou peasant, thou art whom? Wait, what's a pheasant? Peasant, Carol, not pheasant. You're not a bird, are you? I don't think so. How can you not know? Hello, attention. Thou must focus on me. Dude, that girl sure has some nice hair. Am I right? Wait, you're gay? No, I'm Austrian. Back to me, please. I have been poisoned, therefore I needest medicine. What's going on, fellows? We found a brat nerd. That's not nice. Hey, you, thou peasant, brings to me my medicine. Never mind what I said. Also, miss... You don't need medicine. You're fine. I think Brush probably revived you. What mother to the poor offspring she creates names Brush of all things? I'm Egg. And I'm Lantern. And I'm Betty Brianna. And your peasant names are impossible. Have you s seen Toasty? Oh, um, sorry. Guys, I found a pencil! So, am I the only one worried about the punishment? Yeah, it's not like he's gonna do anything. Hello, Zo Ale. Uh, pst. Carol, I need you for a sec. Why? Because I said so. Why? Because you're annoying. But what? Just come on already, or I'll tear out your screechy vocal cords! <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks. It worked. You're welcome. Alright. Carol, let's go. Okay. W what is this? Oh, heck. Is all this tush tush common? <laughs> tush tush. Thou imbecile, hast thou no class, no logic, no sparkle? No. Hey, where's Sunflower? Oh, and where's Carol? Oh, finally, a sensible woman like me. Oh, thou, the mad one has taken Singer to the lower level. What? Brush took her to the basement. Ah, okay. Sorry, new girl. You made that way too confusing. She reminds me of my boyfriend, Carter. What's that got to do with the price of oranges? Oh no, the nerd virus is spread. Let me make references in peace. Ah, uh, well, I'll go leave and look for Sunflower. Yeah, you go do that. Good guys. Hey, Sunflower, where were you? I should be asking the same. Well, I woke and you weren't there. Oh yeah, I woke up in another room, but I don't know why. Thou, focus on me. Hey, maybe this nice girl can help you talk more, Sunflower. Nice? Nice? Is Toasty okay? Someone must have messed with her head. <laughs> Toasty, I guess it's okay. Wonderful, thou peasant. Follow I, as I should rule you all. I hate her. Me too. Me three. As I said, the nerve virus is spreading. What the f- 
bluff. What? What have we done? Obviously. I mean, to our kind host, he saved us and we'll pay him with killing him. Well, he is the one who's a giant and you're the one who is the size of an ant. Who is more likely to get hurt? I... I Dudes, over here. We have no gender. Shut the fluff up. I found some stuff. Golly. The fluff. Mercy. The host is gone. Oh, oh jeepers. We just killed him with arrows. Where the blank is he? HS. Wait, you killed that dude? Whoa. Hey, yes. That's sick. Guys, we we need to find him. Who here can move a dead body that large? It's got a point. <laughs> Thank you, sir. What the fluffin' dude is a sir? Why am I not a sir? That's because you don't have a piece. Just go search for lantern already. I threat captain. Oh no, the nerd virus really is spreading. You just use fluff instead of... Uh, so what we use in my universe is a blank head. Well, sorry, your highness. I thought we had an alliance. Not anymore! Uh, are we not going to pay attention to the fact that the pencil Carol gave me just moved? Sheet. Sheet. You really bug me, Shapey. Lantern. Oh, hey, you're so fun to mess with. What? 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 What's a human? Anyway, sure. Hey, Egg. Can you open a window for pencil? Who's? Oh, right. Sure. And Ty, as I was saying, you. Oh, my. Do I feel a draft? Or is that just me? It's not just you. I feel it too. Dang. Did. Did Carol get the punishment? See? Why? My assistant told me. Who's that? None of your business. Is it the blank head you keep talking to? Shut it! Guys, something's wrong with the annoying tie. What the heck did you do to her? N nothing I... Oh, I... Spit it out, Buster! What the blank did you do? I... <laughs> Just get her a few hallucinogens, that's all. <laughs> you. You. <sighs> Andrew. Quite sheet. He's got some mental issues. Give him a break. I. I but. He probably doesn't realize he's doing something wrong. Leave it alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for calling me a bit. Will Carol get better? Yeah. Although I think I caught the nerd virus too. Oh man. <laughs> She'll get better soon though. I promise. Thanks. Alliance. No. <laughs> Friends. Ew, so cheesy. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Why is there a draft? I opened the window. Andrew told me to. Pencil was warm. You that's against the rules. <sighs> Calm down, Brush. Calm down. I okay. <sighs> I really wanna just stab Andrew right now. But since I'm so nice, I'll let my assistant decide who to take a stab at. 
So, uh, why a long face? What did we miss? Hurry everyone, we're going on in 15 minutes. Darcy, 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 where are you? Right here, Mrs. Popular. Hey, a girly, how's your rock music going? Oh, the usual. How about your pop music? Amazing, I just finished spreading the name to like half the world. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wow, that's amazing, Carol. <laughs> Thanks, Darcy Do. D Darcy Do, I <laughs> don't call me that again. Why? Ooh, you're blushing. You are nervous. Oh, so nervous. Please stop. Um, Carol. Hmm. Would you, or after our show? Would you like to go out for dinner? <laughs> oh, my symphony, of course. Oh, I'll bring the sketchbook and Lisa and Tube. It can be a music besties dinner party. <laughs> uh, um, on second thought, I'm pretty busy. Plus, they're your friends, <laughs> not mine. None are mine. None. Then you can just make friends with them. Ugh. Hey, Carol, I have a surprise for you. Ooh, really? Yup. Follow me. This is super spooky. I know. Um, Carol. How did you get half the population loving you when I can only get a thousand people to even listen to me? Just stay positive, best friend. Friend. Right. Huh. Carol, do you know how jealous people can get of you? Jealous of me? No! Nobody should ever be jealous of somebody like me. They probably don't have much if they are. I'd feel so bad. Huh, right. You feel so bad. Sure. Hey, why don't you go ahead of me? I'll try to find my flashlight so we can see. Okay. Thanks, Darcy Do. <laughs> oh, I hate her. I hate her so much. But why? Why do I also feel my face flush <laughs> whenever she is near? Oh, I hate this confusion. I just want it to end already. This jealousy, pain, and... Mm. And then I make it to the room. Oh my, two minutes.
listens to the show. Bye. Where's Darcy? Boo. Uh, huh? Where is she? Uh, uh, I hope she didn't get lost. Need your help with something. Um, what? Carol, sweet, are you all right? It told me Bruce didn't mean to hurt you. You're rusting, Andrew. I, uh, I'm a flower. I don't rust. Are you all right? The home signatures must still be affecting you. No. Wait. What? Hey, Egg just told me. I'm sorry to hear about what happened to you, Carol. It's okay, girly. We're best friends. Haha. <laughs> Truly far from it. Anyway, where's Egg and the rest? They're talking with Betty about how she's acting. When we came back with her last night, Sunflower and I had a um, private talk about her behavior. We don't really like her all too well. You can see who finally comes to terms with the reality, huh? What? Oops, <laughs> that's just some of Egg's personality bursting through. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I, I see. You won't hear the last of Ping Ping Ping. What? <laughs> you ran out of internet again. Internet. Oh, right. I'm really tired. I should be heading to bed. Hey, hey, what's up? Uh, never mind. Um, what's wrong? Why aren't you mean? No reason. No reason. Nothing at all. Nothing to do with arrows. What? Anyway, fellow fluffing rainbow collector, the demon wants you outside. Move your butt. Fellow... Oh, alright, um, I guess I'll go see what he wants with me. If he offers you lollipops, do not take the lollipop! <laughs> okay. Thanks. I'll go see what the devil himself wants with me. <laughs> Revive someone like me. I've I've tried to look, but everywhere I go, either he finds me or or Toasty finds me, or someone else finds me, or I hear the voices of her parents nagging and nagging and nagging me. I'm a babysitter. Not really old enough to get a real job in my country. Um, the kid I babysit for is in trouble. Her parents are often out with people from the government who are so she. And I just... Never mind.
girlfriend, but nobody here is my age. Except Egg, but they're... Um, no, ugh, I'm not really into that kind of person. Firstly, who are they? And secondly, isn't Toasty like 10 years older than me? You, why are you thinking of? Why would I be scared or paranoid about toasty? <laughs> Thou peasants, thou must just hurry, Sir Andrew has speak on a fight, wherefore art thou? You monster, get your dirty sticks off of me! I should be the one calling you a monster, why would you trap us here, why, huh? Get him off, get him off! You, pencil, stab him now! Now, or I will f- of a madman. Methinks not so, ugly peasant. I know with madness. My servant showeth it so clear. And the words uttered by this demented one are none other than Sanayal's Prentakai. She be just follow the words of the pretty girl. Ask her if she wants to date me too. Fine. Since we both a Carol, fine. Brush your sheep. Vuntipar, Wakama. I'm scared. You, 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 you are allowed to be. So, um, 
what is even going on? I don't even understand. Just see your eyes glitching out again. I know! I know! I know! Sunflower? What are you- It's not my fault! It's the fault of that guy! Understanding the jugs and upset? But you really did murder your babysitter tissues. Do you understand how that classifies as a crime? Obviously, but it's not my fault. He's the one who made me leave my friends. This isn't right. He's the one who ignores me. My parents always leave me alone. I don't even know them, and this guy just comes in and, and, and ignores me. I hate this. I'm upset, but you have to face the consequences. Jeez. You have to go to court now, if you can, if you have the money, that is. Now, Tissues Johnson, do you swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth? Uh, when will the Rainbow Boy be done? Oh no, he gets punished already. I hope it's the flap doodle that allows the chef to decapitate his thine body. Bleh. <laughs> flap doodle. Thou art vassy. <laughs> Thou art, shall I say in your speak, dull and idiotic. Oh, fluff. Um, hey guys. Oh great, who's dying again? Nobody is um dying a uh, lantern. You're getting uh something special from the brush and uh Betty, you're getting um stitches. Uphold is I I need not stitches. No honor to you I I I'm sorry you didn't have to um, I, I, uh, I feel like such a monster. <laughs> oh, how idiotic. Oh, thou peasant. Do thou think it's not so? Quiet. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Shut your trap. Fresh is coming. Oh, hello. I think we need to stop reacting. What do you think? Absolutely. Search your time! <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh my god! As if he hasn't already. That wasn't my hearing aid. <laughs> what was that? I'm scared. I hope so. something even worse to lantern than us. We have to get out of here! Oh, oh my god. But, 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 where? Where? 
windows. They're easy. But they'll get us in trouble. Do you want to keep living or not? <laughs> Thanks for volunteering. <laughs> yeah, why don't you go pencil? I, I'll go. Not like I have a strong reason to stay alive here, anyway. Andrew, no! It's okay. I'll be fine. Stay, 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 stay safe, okay? I, I, I can go if you want. No. I will. I'll see you later. <sighs> where, where did the floor street lamps? Will he be okay? Of course! Sorry, but I'm not too confident in that. Whoa, you good bedster. You're usually never silent for more than four seconds. <laughs> He so 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 your mouth shut shut. I won't be making fun of you anymore, my lovely. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Yanimo gov et operiarit. Carol needs pariodit. Petitiosia ni pariodit. Pokrani mirfon ar peperiodin dia. Look, Strelie. Hey, everyone. <laughs> what did you just say? Nothing, nothing. Linton looks normal. What's, what's wrong with him? You're toasty, right? What? You look... different. Esto y este leyo de la verdad. Nine! It's just a special, special device I stitched under his eye. What does it do? I was getting to that! Klusheiser. It emits waves. Sending with beeps into his brain. Then he sees what I wanted to see. <laughs> this is why I love you and your genius ideas. Aw, I love you too, me. Anyway, how are you feeling, Lantern? Uh, amazing. <laughs> oh, my whole family's here. I thought the little Crawleys killed them. Oh, father. 
Everyone is here. <laughs> Everyone except Andrew. Where is he? WC. All right. Hope it doesn't take long. I have a surprise I'll set up for him. Adia. Really, Lamp? Where is Andrew? And everyone else? Telling you. Uh, what was that? Who are you, and why do I understand you? Lastly, I'll give Orange a penalty. You really stink, and I hate you. That's no fair, dude. The host. You're not supposed to be fluffing bias, bro. Shut up. Anyways, yeah. So, Orange, you gotta do all my chores, or I'll squish you like the ant you are. Uh, bye, beach toys. Ooh, he called your beach toys. He called you that too. Humph. <sighs> hey, SB. Hmm? Ready for the plan? The. Oh, arrows. Yeah, so ready for revenge. Alright, let's go. Firehead! Hi, Mom. Aren't you excited? Not really. Oh. For what? What's there not to be happy about? Mom, are you okay? I'm not your mom, but yeah, I'm wonderful. <laughs> you gonna sing me a lullaby? <gasps> oh, of course! Hush, my sweet child mine, you shall be happy. My mother sang to me this song of wonderfulness to 
me when I was young and innocent, and I will sing this song to you, even if you are different than the song entails. Your mind may do just think. Hush, my sweet child, my, you shall be happy. My mother sang to me this song of warning to me when I was young and innocent. But that was not long ago, especially for you who has a life in many ways. You may not sit still. You may not eat much, but you are perfect, my sweet. Hush, my sweet child, my, you shall be happy. My mother sang to me this song of family to me when I was young and innocent. When is you right now so please live and don't leave me alone and you have many weaknesses but so many strengths and you may need my care and you may be too trusty but you are perfect my baby bear Go sing your heart out. That was wonderful, Mom. Thanks. There was another verse about someone named William. I don't remember that verse too well, so yeah. I love it. <laughs> Thanks for taking me here and starting to speak English. No problem, sweetie. You wish to drink from the Fountain of Memories to remove your psychotic block, don't you? I, uh, I just want to know what's going on here. And I don't want Brush to hurt me. Oh, I hate who he became. He was such a bright sun. Sun or sun? Never mind that. <laughs> I have someone I'd like you to meet. Will Carol and everyone be okay? Of course. His little anomaly is watching over them. Follow the trail into the woods and feel yourself recount the past one step at a time. Um, Doc, can I take the screening again? No, Andrew, this is your official diagnosis. But it's official, Andrew. No complaining. Doc, please. I'm prescribing you medication. Have you ever heard of, uh, I'm so sorry, I forgot the name, but please hang on with me a second. No, absolutely no. Oh, well, I, I'm prescribing medication. Have you heard of the one that we typically use for what your diagnosis is? No. Oh, well, 
they are used to help people with your diagnosis, psychosis, and they are typically used and- No, uh, I mean, I, I, I can't take that medicine. It's- it, I'm not crazy in absolutely no way. Andrew, that's just a common misconception. You're not crazy. Now, I'd like to meet you again next week. This cannot be happening to me. Yes, it can, Andrew. You, you're a liar. I'm leaving. Andrew, I understand you love your boyfriend, friends, and job. But I want you to go to a hospital for a few days to improve your health. Because, well, you could be a danger to yourself. But, but, but. No buts, Andrew. Andrew... You even wear your bow tie to hide the cuts I've seen on your neck. Andrew, please. The visions you see are confusing you and making you hurt yourself on accident. On pure accident, Andrew. I am not going there for more than a week. So you'll go? Yeah. Fine. Today? No! Let's make it arrange then. How does a week from today sound? November 22nd to the 25th? Fine. Fine. Just leave me alone and let me go to work. Fine. Fine. I'll see you soon, Andrew. See you soon, Dr. Anderson. Ugh. Wow, that was, uh, refreshing. <laughs> yeah. Take a look in the mirror at the end of the path. Tell me who you see. My friend will come shortly. <laughs> what? A uh, sir. I want Andrew back. I want to hurt him for hurting me, but... <sighs> Azur, are you listening? Uh, why won't he talk yet? I don't know. Maybe it's because you couldn't return his soul from the memory garden? Probably. Anyway, who does Zer decide to test next? I think it was Egg. Huh. They might be more suitable than Carol and the rest. They're more of a realist than an optimist or idealist or, um... I told you, idiot. No going in the basement. Huh? This'll be good. <laughs> there we go. Better. <laughs> Did brush? I don't think so. 
Look what I did. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, that's nice. Uh, bandage Betty's mouth. Uh, it's safe out there. Really? <laughs> really? And I got a bit of clarity on things. Mm -hmm. Only good souls find themselves safe. Evil souls turn into voices like me. But don't worry, I've changed my ways. Mm -hmm. She said that as long as you have a good soul, you're safe. Egg, Andrew, here, now. What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? Where even were you? I... Whatever, doesn't matter now. <laughs> Just get on with the meeting thing, please. Oh, right. So, Andrew found out that we won't die out there if we have a good soul. So, let's go. We've all got great souls. I'm not sure if you're the one one to determine that, Carol. Guys, we really need to get out of here. I I miss my mom. And I miss my fans. You you have fans? Uh-huh. Okay, let's think this through. Hmm. Okay, um. Hmm. Carol, Lantern, Betty. You can go go ask whoever Andrew saw if any of us has an e evil soul and how we can fix this. We, we will need to stay here and, and distract Brush. Okie dokie, bestie! Are you sure? Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, finally, that brat has gone off to work. And I am forever free. Free to rule the world. No, the universe. No, the multiverse. <laughs> <gasps> eh? Oh no, who could that have been? Hello, Frau Brianna. Oh, nine. Do best Frau Brianna neat. Oh, thou must just speak English. Oh, sorry. Mm, I'm looking for Miss Betty Brianna. Is she here? I'm part of a local investigators guild, and I was told to come find her to see if she can help us promote our newest work. Hmm. Inventors guild, you say? Yeah. Are you interested? Of course. Oh, and so, by the way, that I mean that princess. 
has moved on to another home. That is. Cool. Is this yours now? Mm, wanna work with us? I shall love to. But actually, would Sal like to work with me, a world famous inventor, instead? Wow, you're famous. How come I never heard of you? Well, I. But sure, let's go work. <laughs> Zal shall never regret this. Hmm. What's this? What's going on? A little birdie told me that you've been breaking the rules, Andrew. <laughs> Can you open the window for pencil? And I won't tolerate that. <laughs> That's why we're having you punish Egg this time. Exactly how I say. <laughs> Remember, buddy, the outside is a dangerous place. The outside has changed since Mom left. She made it safer. I even watched. Please. Fine. Yay. <laughs> we, we should go back. It's cool here, I want to stay, please. You, okay, you can't, okay? It's for your own safety. Fine, I'll go back in. But can I at least just see the lights, please? They're street lights. But I still want to see those magical lights, please. Oh, your mom? Yes, did invent things. But those inventions made her lose her mind. She went outside and left and never returned, and I don't want the same to happen to you, brother. I promise, I want my... No, no, brother, leave! Go inside and board the doors and leave! No, no, what about you? Leave me, go! Um, hi. 
Hey, hey there. What's wrong? Um... My... Pencil told me to stay away from you. Huh? Why? I... I don't know. Pencil? Why? <laughs> Created for peace. I would would never be rude or would weird. <laughs> Created. Charming. Ah, uh, I'm turning into my mom. I'm so close to bringing him back. There's no turning back now. <laughs> <laughs>